Chapter 68 Watching 9 The North Sea Chess King and South Sea Chess King were originally trying to solve the stalemate in front of them, when, abruptly, a voice transmission reached the ears of the two. The duo's faces changed, and they raised their heads. Master, what's wrong? Senior, do you need anything? A group of disciples inquired curiously, but the two chess kings didn't pay any attention to them. Instead, they turned their heads together to look at Guhai. Earlier, the two were so focused on playing chess that they were unwilling to even glance at Guhai's arrival. But now that they heard the Ninth Prince's message, they immediately dropped everything at hand. Guhai once again placed five handicapped games in front of him. Guhai didn't rush to crack them. Instead, he carefully scrutinized each of the games, slowly dropping his pieces. Slowly, the two chess kings of the North and South Sea stepped in front of Guhai. The crowd of disciples and servants were all curious, but the two chess kings paid no attention. Under the watchful eyes of the thousand, or so cultivators, that Guhai had brought with him, they walked over to where Guhai's chess board was. The crowd all looked at the two chess kings strangely. Guhai also looked up at the duo. Mr. Gu, the South Sea Chess King solemnly said. Greetings, Mo Gu, the North Sea Chess King also solemnly said. The duo was at the Yuanian realm, while Guhai was only at the innate realm, and this politeness really made the surrounding cultivators confused. Was Guhai already this famous? Indeed, he could do the 28 heaven and earth vertical formation, and he had killed countless Songjia sect disciples. But his strength was still a bit short of the Yuanian realm. The duo's salute to Gu Hai was not because of Gu Hai's fame, but rather the importance of the Ninth Duke. The duo naturally heard that the Ninth Duke valued Gu Hai so much that he valued him more than himself. Oh, South Sea Chess King, North Sea Chess King. I wonder what the two of you have to say. Gu Hai said doubtfully, I don't dare to teach you. I'm happy to see the hunt and would like to compete with Mr. Gu in the game of chess. The South Sea Chess King solemnly said, So do I I implore you to teach me, Mergu, the North Sea Chess King also solemnly said. A. South Sea Chess King and North Sea Chess King. Is this considered a challenge to Mergu? No way. The two chess kings are both long established are challenging the ancient sea. The surrounding cultivators revealed a wave of astonishment. Not far away, Ding Dong, who hadn't gone far yet, also revealed a trace of astonishment. This South Sea Chess King and North Sea Chess King had come in a strange way, and now they actually challenged Gu Hai inexplicably as well. This, should this be reported to Cousin Ant? Ding Dong didn't go far, but looked nearby. Not far away, the Tu Sheng Chess King had also stopped playing chess, and was sitting in the distance, looking inquisitively. Next to him, a black-robed person sat next to the Tu Sheng Chess King. It appeared to be a female, hugging Tu Sheng Chess King's arm. He seemed to have fear. The Tu Sheng Chess King calmed the black-robed woman, and continued to look in the direction of Gu Hai. Gu Hai stared at the two chess kings, and a trace of surprise flashed in his eyes. In his mind, he surmised the intentions of the two. The two looked towards themselves with a monstrous battle intent in their eyes, mixed with a hint of anxiety. With a slight smile, both of you, let's do it this way. We are both cracking the remnants of this place. I also cracked more than a hundred discs earlier, and found that the difficulty of each disc did not differ much. So let's use this remnants of the game for a comparison. Good, please. The two chess kings said with satisfaction. Gu Hai nodded and stopped caring, placing five stalemate games in front of him and continued to crack them. Seeing Gu Hai's performance, the two great chess kings followed suit and had their disciples each take five games and place them in front of them, not looking at the board either, waiting for Gu Hai's board to finish. Snap, snap, snap. Soon, Gu Hai's five handicaps were solved, and some cultivators quickly went to fetch five discs over for Gu Hai. Mr. Gu, do you need to take a break? The South Sea Chess King asked. No need, start. Gu Hai smiled faintly. Good, 
The South Sea Chess King and North Sea Chess King answered. At once, they looked at the five chess boards together. Gu Hai was undisturbed, still following the same speed as before, mulling over the meaning of the chess boards, not simply to break the game. The speed of breaking the game, the speed of dropping the pieces was still very even. Snap, 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 South Sea Chess King, North Sea Chess King, but played incomparably eagerly, one after another, cracking five discs at the same time. Indeed, it was much tougher than the previous disc by disc. But the duo wanted to win. This fall was more eager. The front fall was more eager. The back needed more and more brain power. The two people eagerly fall. Many cultivators around them were watching nervously. This is a good thing. Ding Dong stood in the distance and laughed. One instant stick later. Pa. The South Sea Chess King solved a game. Pa. The North Sea Chess King solved a game. Gu Hai was still in the middle of his fall, without any hurry. The two great chess kings each solved a game, incomparably excited, and continued to look at the other four discs, constantly making moves. In the midst of the moves, a trace of sweat emerged from the foreheads of the two chess kings. After all, the further the game went on, the more difficult it became. Ultimately, playing chess eagerly had its effects, however, when the four discs were solved, and there was still one disc left, the one disc on Gu Hai's side had yet to be solved. Continuing, the two chess kings struggled to solve the last disc. Snap, snap, pa, pa, pa. Gu Hai slowly dropped his five discs. Mr. Gu has unlocked all five discs at the same time. Someone immediately exclaimed, snap, snap. The two major chess kings landed their pieces one after another. The South Sea Chess King unlocked it, and the North Sea Chess King also unlocked it. Almost simultaneously, all three of them unlocked five chess boards. The Dinglong Sect's disciples delivered spirit stones, and the other cultivators quickly served the three who were competing with each of the five. Handicapped boards once again. The South Sea Chess King and the North Sea Chess King were once again immersed in the chessboard, but Gu Hai glanced at the two of them and became more and more strange. These two people were competing with themselves. What was the point of fighting, sweating profusely? Shaking his head, Gu Hai continued to look at the five boards of chess in front of him. Who do you think will win among the three of them? South Sea Chess King, right. He has the fiercest attack. I think it's the North Sea Chess King. He cracked the most thoroughly. No, I think it's Mr. Gu. He's the most composed. Not far away in a small attic, the ninth duke's eyes narrowed slightly. Duke, can the South Sea Chess King and North Sea Chess King win? A subordinate curiously said. The two of them have already lost. The ninth duke shook his head and sighed. Ah, it's only just begun. It's just begun, but look at what each of the three of them look like. The South Sea Chess King and the North Sea Chess King are so desperate and sweaty. And then you look at Gu Hai, from start to finish. His expression hasn't changed a bit. The Ninth Duke said indifferently. But, South Sea Chess King, North Sea Chess King. Only look at the shape, not the meaning. Gu Hai previously opened his mouth, and the first sentence has already stated that the difficulty of these games is not much different. It has already shown that he has already discerned the meaning of the game. Nine Duke said indifferently. Chess meaning. 3,000 stumps in the end. It's just a game of chess. The two chess kings haven't realized it yet. Adding to the hard work in vain. That Gu Hai is swimming with ease. Although he is breaking the game. His greater focus is on comprehending the game. What a powerful comprehension. The ninth Duke said in a deep voice. The group of subordinates revealed a wave of bewilderment. Just watch, the ancient sea breaking the game will remain like this, while the South Sea Chess King and the North Sea Chess King, the Ninth Prince narrowed his eyes. Sure enough, while Gu Hai remained calm and relaxed, the two chess kings were playing harder and harder, and in more and more pain. It would be fine if they played slowly, but this was a competition, so they couldn't slow down. They could only go fast and quick. Snap, 
snap, snap, snap. Guhai landed five discs with the same solution. The two great chess kings landed and finally solved the five discs a little bit later than Guhai. Continue, the North Sea chess king anxiously said. At once, the chess board continued to be solved. Everyone stared at the board, watching this dragon fight. This time, it was five hours. In five hours, Guhai had cracked 200 discs, and the South Sea Chess King and the North Sea Chess King had also cracked 200 discs each. Have you guys noticed that Mergu's speed is the same every time he makes a move, and the number of moves he makes in solving a game is the same? Someone was surprised. Huh, well, it seems to be that, for all five of his games, he landed his pieces in one piece, all at a uniform pace. It seems to be true. How does Mr. Gu play chess so evenly? The surrounding cultivators all looked at Gu Hai in surprise. And at this moment, under the powerful brain power consumption, the South Sea Chess King and the North Sea Chess King were in a bit of a trance-like state. And their hands were gripping the chess pieces for a while trembling, as if they had a feeling of mental exhaustion. Master, don't play. Senior, let's not play. Their disciple was in the midst of anxiety. Get lost. Shut up. The two great chess kings angrily shouted at their respective disciples and continued to play amongst their old lives desperately. The surrounding cultivators could see Guhai's advantage and it was obvious that the balance of victory had tilted in Guhai's favor. The happiest one was Ding Dong, 600 discs. This one match unlocks 600 discs to fast, if it keeps up, will it? Poof! Steeply, the North Sea Chess King sprayed a mouthful of blood on top of the chessboard. Master, poof! The South Sea Chess King also sprayed a mouthful of blood on top of the chessboard. Master! The crowd of disciples immediately anxiously pounced on them. The two Chess Kings were exhausted, spitting out blood, as if they had run out of gas. The chess pieces in Guhai's hand suddenly stopped, frowning as he looked at the two great chess kings and said, Both of you, are you all right? The North Sea chess king faintly smiled bitterly for a while. Mr. Gu, good chess power. Playing chess is supposed to be a happy thing. You two should not put the cart before the horse. Thank you both for your commitment, Guhai solemnly said. Guhai, what are you? It's also your turn to educate my master. At once, disciples from both sides angrily rebuked. Shut up! The South Sea Chess King and North Sea Chess King let out a rebuke. The crowd of disciples stared blankly at Gu Hai. But Master, the crowd of disciples anxiously said, Your disciples, you just can't swallow this breath. Gu Hai could have won against you a long time ago. But he has been dragging it out until now. Until you spit blood. Steeply, a voice came from behind the two chess kings. A. The crowd looked over. Instead, they saw a white-clothed male holding a folding fan in his hand, walking slowly, followed by a group of grey-clothed subordinates. The South Sea Chess King and the North Sea Chess King's faces changed, and were about to get up to greet them when the white-clothed male waved his hand and suppressed the two of them from getting up, preventing them from opening their mouths. Gu Hai stared at the white-clothed male in front of him, looking at the expressions of the two major chess kings. Could it be that they challenged themselves, instigated by the white-clothed male in front of him? Mr. Gu, I'm a bit of a researcher in chess. If you don't give up, how about you and I have a match? It's also considered to give me a chance to help the two great chess kings gain back a little face. The white-clothed male laughed. The surrounding cultivators looked at the white-clothed gentleman with a strange look. Who is this person? Where did he come from? What a big mouth. Was this to help the two chess kings out? If you want to play chess, Mr. Gu is welcome. I just don't know how your honor is addressed, Gu Hai curiously said. Under me, Guan Zhu, the white-clothed male laughed. Guan Zhu, the surrounding group of cultivators stared and pondered. Who is Guan Zhu? I've never heard of this character in the Thousand Island Sea.